A group of parents is suing to get their children to school on time. This comes after they say the school district failed to get their children who have special needs the disability accessible transportation that they need. 7 News' Carl Willis is speaking with some of those now behind the lawsuit. Joanne McRae wants what all mothers want, a fair chance for her child to succeed. Instead, because of difficulties with student transportation, she says it has been stop-start with roadblocks around every corner for her 12-year-old son, Jadon, who was diagnosed with autism when he was three. No kid left behind, and you guys are leaving a lot of kids behind. McCray tells 7 News that often Jadon gets to school hours late and misses both math and science classes, and he's struggling in both. His grades is impacted by it, and he's missing the social and emotional time with his friends. Um, and school time period, if school starts at 8 o'clock and you get there at 10 o'clock, I mean, your day is already messed up. It's a little bit frustrating because I just don't want my son, just because he has autism, just to be a number in the class. I want him to strive and graduate with a diploma. And after weighing the impact of those delays on students here in D.C., there is now a class action lawsuit, and those behind it say they want to fix this system for generations to come. The suit claims that the district is failing to get students with disabilities to school on time every morning. They say buses regularly arrive hours late or not at all, and often with no notice to families. We're asking the district to change their policies, their systems, and their practices so that we actually have effective transportation system for all children with disabilities in the district. Lawyer Katie Zeisel with the Children's Law Center represents the five named plaintiffs, including McRae, who are speaking up for the district's 4,000 special education students. When you have these schedules that are inconsistent, when you have children who are not making it to school, they're not able to continue to make progress on the goals that they have set for themselves at school. In fact, she says they often regress, losing what they've learned at school. In the first five months of this school year, there are over 1,000 delays and cancellations. In the first three months of this calendar year, there were 1,500 and over 100 in the week before the complaint was filed. 7 News reached out to the Office of the State Superintendent of Education. They responded that the office does not comment on pending litigation. McCray says the state of this system is inexcusable. It's already hard enough raising kids with special needs, and right now it seems like you're handicapping the parents, too, to even be effective. In Southeast D.C., Carl Willis, 7 News.